Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Parade Gospel. This is Kurt. And the reason why I started off that way is because that I know that many of you guys are new. I've been having a lot more new subscribers in the past few weeks, which is incredibly awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Uh, and, and I'm just a few away from 100 subscribers, which is very vitally important because once I get 100 subscribers, I can get a URL and that will go a long way, believe me. I'll talk about that another time. But I really, really would appreciate being able to get a URL. It's very important. I, I did talk about it when I talk about my um, church letters that I've been writing out in previous videos. But I'll get, I'll get to that again. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of go through some of my gospel tracks here. Um, I just recently started to put my gospel tracks in order. Uh, it gets messy when I take these things out to different outreaches. They get all mixed up. So I just wanted to um, put things in order. And uh, I'm going to talk about a couple of things, like some future videos and such, while I go through these. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, um, you know, a, a very warm welcome. And, uh, you know, I welcome you being here. Um, what I try to do on my channel is mainly show super easy ways to share the gospel. It's not just parades, although that is a big part of it. I mean, of course, it's in the name, Parade the Gospel. It's not just parades, but there's so many other ways you can share the gospel, and one of those ways is by use of using gospel tracts. Now, this is not the only way. It, it certainly is a big part of what I do, but it's definitely not the only thing. But I'm, I'm going to talk about gospel tracts a little bit today. Now, for a couple of future videos, I want to talk about this. A couple of future videos, Now I'll, I'll get more specific in the gospel tracts I'm kind of showing off right now. But... Uh, in a couple future videos, I want to talk specifically about uh, gospel tracks. I'll probably just have an audio file overlaid on some um, footage of me handing out gospel tracks or something like that. I'm not really sure what the video footage is going to be yet. But I want to make an audio uh, file of just talking about gospel tracks. And I'm thinking about three different videos. Number one, um, I, I want to do one about objections to using gospel tracks. See, a lot of people have objections. I've certainly heard it over the years. You know, oh, you shouldn't use gospel tracks because of this, that, and the other. Um, and I'm going to have some answers to that. That will probably be the longest video. Uh, then the second one, or I'm not sure which order I'm going to do these in, but uh, I'll certainly do one on um, why we should use gospel or, you know, some good reasons for using gospel checks. And I'm not opposed if you are against using gospel checks. If you're against it and there's nothing I can do to change your mind, then okay, that's fine. Definitely. You know, just as long as you're out there sharing the gospel in some way. Um, that, that's totally fine. This is just something that I do a lot of. Um, and then a third video of uh, what are some good gospel tracks. Um, and then, you know, back up to the other video, why use gospel tracks. Maybe some ways you can use gospel tracks. I'll put that in that same video as well. So you can see here my assortment of gospel tracks. Now I have a lot, a lot, a lot of money gospel tracks, all kinds of different ones here. Some from Gospel Track Planet, some from Living Waters, and those are mainly the two um, people, the, the two sources that I go through when it comes to Gospel Tracks. But I've got a lot of Gospel Tracks. The other reason, too, for this video, um, showing off these Gospel Tracks, is particularly for the um, uh, people who are local. If you guys want to help me distribute these Gospel Tracks in parades or other events, the million dollar bills here, I'll probably use most of these for parades. Now this one right here, I've talked about it before. This is a custom gospel tract through Tract Planet. Right here, it's custom in this bottom part right here where I added, enjoy a free movie, award-winning, inspiring, convicting, 15 plus million views, fullyfreefilms.com. And that of course is Ray Comfort's uh, ministry website where he's got all of his movies, his main movies anyway, listed. And you can watch them for free on there. And of course, it shares the gospel. So I just thought that'd be a pretty cool extra thing. I ordered 5,000 of these. Uh, was it last year? I think before Memorial Day. And I still have, I don't know, maybe a thousand left of those. And then some other ones as well. This is from Track Planet. Gospel message on the back. And a whole bunch of other ones I haven't even opened yet. A lot of these booklet tracks, now I love this one right here. I like to take this one out to the bars uh, when we do the bar outreach in Appleton, which supposedly is the drunkest city in America, by the way. Um, at least two years ago. Last year, I think they said it was the, the second biggest uh, drunkest city in the, in the nation, with Green Bay being first, supposedly. But anyway, um, we go out there, and uh, it's been a, a blessed ministry 
reaching those people. It's a little booklet tract, and I have a bunch of address labels. That's what I put on there. The same thing pretty much as on the custom million-dollar bill tract right there. And I got a bunch of these left. But anyway, this one in particular, I will ask people as they're walking by, extending my arm, I would say something like, hey, are you thirsty? Um, and then they might take one, and I'll, I'll continue on saying thirsty for righteousness. And then oftentimes that would actually lead into a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So you got that one, you have the Greatest News little booklet track. And these are from uh, Track Planet, as you can see right there. Um, are you good enough to get into heaven? These are from Ray Comfort. I think this is the new version of what used to be this one right here. Discover four uh, simple laws and solve life's greatest mystery. And a lot of these I put something on the back as well, not this one. Uh, this is a great one right here, Gospel Track Planet, Why Does God Allow Evil? Uh, this one right here is from Living Waters. Now, this one you can't tear up. It's actually, I think, the first or second video on my channel. I have my daughter trying to rip this up. It's very cute. You should go check it out. So that's that. I got a couple of jumbo money bills here from Track Planet. This is a Star Wars one. I have a couple other ones. I think they're mixed in here as well. I got that one on the jumbo size. A uh, whole bunch of random ones in here. Santa Bucks. I love this one right here. Um, this one is fantastic. I ordered 5,000 of uh, the Christmassy bills. Uh, not this past Christmas, but the one before that for different outreaches then. I love the Rainbow Bucks. I don't think they make these anymore, but this one I love. Um, and a whole bunch of random ones in here. I even have some like ancient, ancient Ray Comfort uh, Living Waters tracks. Like this one, Spurgeon. Um... Anything that goes around the edges like that, those are old. Those are really old ones. But I have a bunch of those. I have a bunch of random stuff in here. Uh, this one's kind of outdated. The Genius Movie, uh, GeniusTheMovie.com because I believe that website is no longer in existence. It's a Ray Comfort track as well. And it's got a little IQ test on the back and a pretty good presentation, actually. I got a few chick tracks. I don't normally use chick tracks. Um, it's not because I necessarily have anything against them or anything. It's just that I just don't have them. Uh, this is from a, a pastor in town. He's got a whole bunch of them, and we used a bunch of these uh, for the Halloween outreach, uh, Wendigo Fest last year, and a little bit for this year's Wendigo Fest. Um, this one, I'm not sure how I got that one. Uh, let's see. This one was a Christmas outreach, a Christmas parade outreach that they put on. A few years ago and I just happen to have some of those left I got a whole bunch of DVDs yet and again guys if you're local please come out with us on some outreach um, and I, I'll talk about this too a little bit but I've been doing a lot of um, um, uh, newspaper delivery and I talked about that in the previous previous video and other videos in the past but I've been doing a lot of that See, I don't make a video every time I go out evangelizing a lot of the stuff I do off camera there, there's been a lot of stuff going on <laughs> behind the scenes um a lot of these car tracks here i love this one holy 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 this one's from track planet this is a fantastic track right here as well as this one the um one on blasphemy that's a fantastic car track as well what if i'm pretending fantastic track as well as this one right here which is kind of in the same vein uh all these are from track planet uh, this one from Track Planet as well, a little card tract, uh, the movie, gift cards. Um, that's just talking again about the Fully Free Films website. Some of the movies back there. This one's from Track Planet. I haven't used any one of these yet. It's the um, uh, kind of looks like a parking ticket. And on the back, this is pretty cool right here. So you can fill in the offense, you know, check all of those because they all apply, right? So that's a fantastic one as well. A um, bunch of comic book tracks. Those are either from Living Waters or Track Planet. A couple of old tracks in here that I have. Uh, this Atheist Test, that's a pretty old one. I don't think they make that particular one anymore. This Contradict Tract is awesome. Um, this is a fantastic one too from Living Waters. It's got a whole bunch of... Um, what are they, like riddles or something? So does England have a 4th of July? Answer, yes, they do. And also a July 5th and a July 6th. And it's got a gospel message in there as well. This is not a trick question. And by the way, some of these questions we use on our evangelism board uh, just to start a conversation. That, that works great on different outreaches. 
Um, this is an awesome tr little tractor right here, car tract. If you can see the back of it. It's got a message on the back there and the Bible verse. What shall profit a man if, she, if he shall gain the whole world yet lose his soul? Uh, so yeah, the DVDs, we got actually a couple hundred more than what I have right here. I'm not sure how many I have, but we got a couple hundred more. Mostly 180s and, um, uh, let's see, Atheist Delusion. Uh, and a couple audacities and a couple evolution versus God in here. These are the Paul Washer Gospel tracks. I still have a ton of them. That was from the Super Bowl Outreach. I love this tract. If I can pull it out here, if you haven't seen it yet. I've been putting that address label on there just for a little extra. Because I love having a little bit extra. This is mostly scripture. And that's one of the reasons why I love this one quite a bit. This one right here is from a local radio station. It's just a very simple paper tract. Why are you here in Q90FM? Just a little simple thing. We have a big, humongous event in the summertime. Uh, what's it called? Not Praise Fest. It's a music festival for Christians in Oshkosh. It's one of the biggest in the country. Can't think of the name of it. Um, uh, it's slipping my mind right now. But uh, yeah, that's what we, we were there one time for an outreach. He's right here. Hold on one second. Hello. What you doing? Making a video about my gospel tracks. Just trying to get people, um, oh, just talking about different things. And people, anybody local wants to help distribute some of these, that would be fantastic. I'm just kind of talking about in general, a lot of them. Cool. Somebody sent these to me. I have, I don't know how many are in here. Probably over a thousand, but these are um, some from Fellowship Tract League. Now I've got a whole bunch of Bibles right here, my Gospel of John's, uh, the Exit Movie flyers. I've got a ton of those. I made several videos about that in the past. You can check that out. The 180 Movie flyers. I made a, uh, at least one or maybe two videos about that in the past. You can check that out. Actually, just recently, different colored paper. Uh, let's see what else. Some more Bibles down here. Now these I love. These are for veterans. I got 500 of, the, of these before Memorial Day last year. Some people donated some money so I could buy them. Also custom print on the bottom. You can see that. I love the message, guys, on this. This is fantastic. I don't know if I can get the rubber band off this with one hand. I'll just take one out. If you want to pause the video and read that, that is a fantastic one. If you guys want me to send this to you, you know, I, I'll, I'll certainly do that. It's hard to find people in the parade, though, who wear, like, a Vietnam hat or something to signify that they are a veteran. These are specifically for veterans. It's a fantastic track. I still have a whole bunch of them yet. So, money tracks down here. A couple of, uh, uh, we got St. Patrick's Day coming up, and we have a parade for that in Manitowoc. So, I got a few of those tracks left as well. Um, this is a good one for Living Waters for kids. These right here, I actually have a whole video about these post-it note tracks from Track Planet. This is just one version. There's a couple versions of it. Um, I, I got a whole bunch of these. These are super cheap, by the way. I think just 25 per pad. You can stick them anywhere. Stick them in the bathroom. Stick them in the gas station you go somewhere at the, at the gas pump. All over the place you can stick these babies. Here's another version of that. Here's uh, one on Roman Catholicism. I think this is by Mike Gendron. That's an awesome little thing. This one, I'm probably going to talk about this in a separate video now. This one I actually bought probably back in 2006. I have like 100 of them or so, or had 100 for however many I had. But uh, what you do is you put real money inside. And uh, I have a story with that. Put real money in there and then a million dollar bill tracked. I got to fill some of these back up with one dollar bills. Or one time I put like a five dollar and a ten dollar bill in another one. And I left them in various places. This is way back in 2006, but I haven't used all of them up. Some more Gospel of John's I still have to use up. Um, let's see what's in this big here. More Gospel of John's and more of these. And I still have a ton of those, like I said. Hey, I'm not going to touch on all these tracks, but uh, just kind of give them a quick little overview. This smart card is pretty awesome. Put your thumb there. If it turns green, then you're a good person. And a message on the back, of course, it's not going to turn green because nobody's a good person, as the Bible says. Uh, let's see, if you move on over here, I got some more tracks in here yet. My Nuggets of Truth, these are some that I've been working on. Uh, I'm starting to use more bigger, more larger rocks because it'd be more visible to people. So, fullyfilms.com. Now, again, this is when I go out and do the country outreach and uh, when I'm leaving stuff in people's mail, not mailboxes, um, newspaper boxes 
if they don't have a newspaper box, I'll leave this by their mailbox. So then, you know, at least it's something, right? So fullyfreefilms.com, uh, free must-see short films, life change. I'll write different messages on them. I've talked about this before. Sometimes I'll write, if it's the 180, I'll write down the view count. Like, for instance, this one, 180movie.com, that many views as of 12, 7, 18 is when I made this rock. Award-winning, free... 33 minutes, so I write different things. Now, I actually had 770 in this book right here. I don't have that many in there anymore. Um, so I used some of them. But I'll write different messages on there, like I said. Like this one, 2 Corinthians 6, 2, and whatever I wrote on the front. So just different things. And I had about 770 in this box. But I did take them up and use some since then. Got these bumper stickers here for 25 cents. I made a video about that before. Fullyfreefilms.com, seen by millions. I got several of these left. If any of you people locally want one, that would be fantastic. Wherever you drive, you know, potentially someone can see that and uh, tune in and get the gospel. I can save them eternally. So, yeah, that's kind of the general here. There's thousands of tracks here. Thousands. And guys, if you want to help me distribute them, please do. Uh, a lot of these booklet tracks... Uh, the Paul Washer ones and these DVDs are going to be used a lot for the um, country outreach, especially the Bibles. And I've been doing a lot of the exit movie flyers in um, paper boxes as well. Um, so yeah, let's see what else do we have here. I'll, I'm thinking about making a separate video on these radio flyers. Now this thing I made up way back in either 2005 or 2006. I made 5,000 of these and went door to door taping them on people's doors with uh, scotch tape on the glass part of their door so I'm not like wrecking their paint or anything but uh, yeah that, I'll have to talk about that sometime that was quite the adventure so we made 5,000 of these and went all around everywhere so I've been doing this stuff for a long time you guys um, this is just a little something that I made up for a radio ministry program which I, I believe is still in existence not these particular stations it's all through the US actually there's an app for it too but anyway, talk about that another time. It's another local radio station. I want to talk about this sometime, actually. And you can listen to this anywhere. Oops. Uh, this is just one of their programs they have on the Q90 show, Stand Up For The Truth. Uh, pretty good show. Uh, and, an and another show on that radio station as well. You can pause it if you want to read more info on this. This is mostly for Teens Hope Net Radio. One of the guys on here... Um, uh, DW, what's his what's his name? What's the, what's the initial stand for again? I can't remember. Anyway, he's a fan. He's a very wise guy. Oh, like Dave, uh, Dave Wager, fantastic. He's on stand for the truth sometimes as well. Maybe once a week. Now this is a local radio station that of a church I used to belong to for ten years, and I made this about two years ago. And uh, yeah, local re Christian radio station serving the local area. Um, all kinds of of. Uh, teaching programs on there and that's the website down there and a list of the teachers it's a partial list it's probably got to be updated if <laughs> it has been two years in the update by the time you probably recognize some of these names on here um, and then local teaching as well I kind of wanted to specify that in particular um, so people can get local teaching while they're listening to this locally or abroad but anyway so yeah uh, what else is there? Uh, again, guys, locally, if you're around, please come on out. Again, if you're new to my channel, thank you for coming by. Uh, again, I'm, my main goal is to teach Christians simple ways to share the gospel and other ways as well. You know, through the use of gospel tracts and otherwise. Can't wait to do those videos on gospel tracts. Those three videos or however many I make about that. Um, in the near future. What other future videos are coming? Because there are plenty. Um... Uh, maybe I'll just keep that a secret for now. Anything else I want to talk about? Uh, oh, I'm going to break my light. So, I'm trying to think. I think there's something I wanted to show off over here, but I'm going to be doing a study in the book of Colossians tonight. I've been uh, using the Bible app, the main Bible app that's you know known by most people out there. Doing a study on the book of Colossians, having a lot of fun with that. So that's what I'm going to do downstairs in my messy, messy basement. We actually had a flood down here the other day because we, we, we've been getting a lot of rain here in Wisconsin in January. Our sump pump had some issues. The pipe wasn't connected right, and it was shooting water all over the place down here. So I had to clean that up, had a fan blowing for a while. Uh, most of the stuff that got damaged back here is just old cardboard boxes that we got to throw away anyway. 
but we did get it fixed so praise God for that um, yeah this is kind of my workout area too doing the the body beast I'm gonna become a beast you guys that's what I'm gonna look like in a couple of months believe it we'll see Otherwise, my daughter and I um, and my son trying to get into violin as well, but I uh, play a lot of violin. Uh, at least I try to, anyway. But yeah, guys, um, yeah, this is where I record my eternal truth um, for my other YouTube channel. I haven't really done too much of that lately. I picked up this clock from Living Waters recently, Mark sixteen fifteen. What time is it? Ask me, what time is it? It's time to share the gospel. Always time to share the gospel, you guys. All right, you guys. So I think that's it. I think I wanted to say something else in this video. I can't remember. Yes, I'm wearing my Spider-Man. <laughs> I think um, they got that for me for Christmas one year. But hey, with great power comes great responsibility. With the gospel message, the Holy Spirit deposited in us the command to share the gospel. That is a great responsibility. Let's take it seriously, you guys. Obey God. Um, um, live lives that are worthy of him okay do everything that you can to reach people to reach the lost whether it be through gospel tracts or otherwise and you can use gospel tracts as a way to um, start a conversation as well not just necessarily handing them out handing them out handing them out which is fantastic um, but you can also use that to start conversations as well or you know do what we do uh, other ideas give them out in the parade events, um, out in the country, that idea as well. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, again, if you want to come out with us, any one of these outreaches, especially if you're local, and I especially want to encourage you, if you're not local and you haven't done the parade outreach or, or something like that, I would highly encourage you to do that. If you want me to buy you a free, I don't know, 100 pack of gospel tracks just to try a parade out, just to try that out, I'd be more than happy to, or, or send some that I have here uh, to you. Um, oh boy, what else? I think that's it. Um, there's something else I wanted to say in my mind, but whatever. All right, God bless you guys, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.